Hello, I'm Rebecca from the Farm Stand Kitchen, and today I'm going to teach you how to make turkey gravy by scratch. So um, we're just going to do it by scratch. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. Um, people get really intimidated by gravy, but it really is super simple. There's only really nothing to it. And I'm gonna, we're just gonna do it by scratch. You don't really need a recipe. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So just come on into the farm stand kitchen and we're gonna get started. So, all right. So now what we're gonna do is a cornstarch um, thickener. I think this is the easiest way to do it. I think you guys will have great success if you do it like this. So we're gonna use some cornstarch today. And what I have here is just four tablespoons. So I put four tablespoons in here and then we're going to add some water to this just to enough water to make a thin paste. Now this was a half cup I had of water here. So we're just going to see where this gets us here. So it looks like I added not quite a quarter cup into this four tablespoons. Okay. So now here's your cornstarch. Now cornstarch, as you know, is very starchy. So it's going to take a little bit of muscle to move that around there. It comes in contact with water. That's just what it does. Okay, so there we just have a cornstarch slurry. That's what we call this. Okay, so there we go. Four tablespoons of cornstarch is what we're going to start with. So we've got that part done right there. All right, now here's my broth. Let's talk about this a little bit. Remember when we made the turkeys yesterday, Dave and I smoked the turkeys? This is the pan reduction that we got from all those turkeys. Um, this makes an amazing broth. Now, if you're roasting your turkey in the oven, you're gonna have broth. Um, so that's what you want. You wanna, in, you wanna have some good broth. This one here has amazing flavor. That's the why we do our turkeys like that, because this makes the best gravy in the world, smoked turkey. So um, that's what I have here is off of our turkey. So we have um, two cups. I'm going to just put two cups in here. This might make a little noise because I got this pan really hot. So we're going to do, let's do two cups. Now, if you need more gravy than that, all you have to do is just, you know, you can make as much gravy as you want that it, you know, the two cups is kind of like the norm of what uh, people kind of do. Okay, so here we have our two cups of broth in here. So we want to get this to a boil. So I'm gonna leave that on here. We're pretty darn close there, it's coming up there. So here's our cornstarch slurry. We're gonna work with that in just a little bit. Now let's talk about um, seasonings. Now you could add a little bit of better than bouillon, you know, some seasoning to this if your broth just doesn't have, you know, a really rich flavor you could add that. You could add, you know, just add a little bit of that. Um, if it's not salty enough, you can add, you know, add some salt. And always add pepper. I always add uh, pepper to uh, gravy. You could add a little all-purpose seasoning if you wanted to, to add more flavor. You could do that. So, okay, so this is what we want here. This broth is boiling. Turn it down just a tad. We won't rush this because I, I want you guys to see all this. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. I wanted to make sure this was good and hot so we could, we'll knock it down here. In just a minute it'll come down. It smells delicious. Something else you can also do with your broth, you can add just a little bit of cream. I mean, you can, you don't have to, but you can. I might just add a little bit. I don't, I don't think I need a whole lot, but let's add a little cream. Okay, so see here, this is what we have. Here's our broth. We got it um, boiling. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna take our cornstarch slurry. And you wanna have your whisk, and you want to have this, and this is what you start doing. Start whisking, and then just start making a stream of your cornstarch slurry. And just keep whisking. 
and you're going to see this thicken right in front of you. See how it's thickening up? And then see, you can stop that. Just stop when you get your desired thickness of gravy. And that right there would be uh, bow bear gravy right there. That looks super delicious. And then here at the end, I'm going to turn that completely off now because this will boil. So then you just want that to cook. Just let it cook here for, oh, probably a minute or two. It doesn't have to see there. Look at that. That's, that's perfect. And then what you want to do is just give it a little taste right here. Just taste it. See if you need a little more salt, need a little more pepper. Um, you know, that's all you have to do is just adjust your seasonings at this point right here. And boy, does that smell good? Can you smell that, Dave? That smells, good. <laughs> that smells super good. I need some mashed potatoes now. <laughs> you do need some mashed potatoes. Okay, and then you know, just taste it. But see, look how, look at that. See that? That is perfect. That is perfect turkey gravy for that Thanksgiving meal. That would be perfect. But that really, that's all there is to gravy. You don't need to be intimidated to make gravy for Thanksgiving because it is super simple. I'm just going to taste this. Oh, that doesn't need anything. That, that delicious. That pan reduction on those smoked turkeys is so good. But um, that's it. See? Perfect gravy by scratch. You don't even need a recipe. Just get your whisk, your cornstarch, get your good broth, and just whip it up. Turkey gravy. Happy Thanksgiving.